This is just a short video about pipe drive and specifically about where one deals go when the deal is actually won. And there are two issues here. The first issue is that when you click on a deal and it's won, uh, the deal actually disappears from your pipeline and clients often come back to me and say, I have no idea where that deal has gone. I can't find it. The second issue is that if you leave this column at the end and you never actually click won or loss for that matter, you end up with a whole pile of deals that are never won. And if you're tracking your statistics, particularly if you're working with the team, the amount of time for that deal to be won is infinite because it's never actually won or lost. And so statistically, if you look at your insights, they really are over, all over the place and they don't really tell you anything. Whereas the goal is to take a deal from the point that you find the prospect and close it in terms of winning uh, as fast as possible. I should point out here that we're talking specifically about one deals, but this also applies to deals that are lost. Uh, in the fact that if they're never marked as lost, never marked as one, they are open infinitely and clutter up your pipeline. So applies to both one and lost deals. So here we are with our pipeline uh, and here we have all of the open deals. Um, I, I kind of do a similar thing. I've got a few here that are stuck in the uh, lost in the weeds. Uh, not really won, not really lost. I need to sort these out. So I am as guilty as, as some for having done this. So really I should mark these as won or lost. So let's take this deal for example on the bottom here. If I mark this as one, I get the animations and the deal is one. And if we take a look at our deals pipeline, we can see that this has now disappeared. The question then comes is, where has this gone? And if we look at the filter here, Pipedrive actually has these built in. Quite often you'll open it and it'll open it on your favorites. Sometimes it'll open it on owners, but actually it's in the filters. You can see I've starred this one, so it's now in my favorites. I suggest you do the same. But all one deals is actually built into Pipedrive as a default filter. And then if we click on it, it shows all one deals and we can see all of the deals that we won and in which stage of the pipeline they were won. Similarly, built into this uh, by default is all of the lost deals. So we can see a whole raft of lost deals here. And again, this is where they sit within the stages of the pipeline when they were lost. And then there is another way to do this is that if you want to search for a specific deal uh, just put in something from the title. So I've stick in uh, here and we can see that this you can go straight to this deal and it is marked as one and similarly deals are marked as loss as well. So if you just want to find a one or loss deal and you know what the title is or a piece of the title, you can just use the search bar. So that's it really. That's how you find your one and lost deals within Pipedrive. Um, if you find this video useful, uh, I have a couple more uh, Pipedrive videos that are available on my channel. Please feel free to take a look if you're interested in the tips and tricks uh, related to your CRM system. Also, uh, there's a link below to sign up for my newsletter where I talk about some of these items and my consulting for small business in generally. So feel free to sign up. Thanks. See you in the next video.